Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in New York. It's uh, fight week for Gennady Golovkin, who fights once again for a world title against Sergei Devrenchenko here at the Garden, being joined with his promoter, Tom Loeffler. Hey Tom, another chance for Gennady to become a middleweight champion. I know it's a, a fight that people felt we were going to get the third Canelo fight, but how do you see Gennady coming into this fight? I think the zone thought they were getting the third Canelo fight. I think so everybody thought we were so getting did, it. So did Triple G, but you know he's focused on Devrenchenko. This is a tough fight. Um, focus on the guys that will get in the ring with him. It's been that way his whole career. You know, all the champions that wouldn't fight him before, even champions that vacated their titles not to fight him. You can't force fight. You can't force guys to fight. So right now he's fighting Devonchenko. If he wins, he'll be a two-time world champion. He went on a historic 20 title defense record in his first reign. And if he wins Saturday night, I expect there to be a lot more uh, middleweight uh, championship defenses. So, okay, let me know, like, how it works then. Like, when DAZN says, hey, we want you to fight these guys, you guys can come back and be like, no, we don't want to fight that guy. Or, like, how does that work? Because I'm under the impression if someone's paying me 300-something million dollars, they tell me what to do, I'm going to be like, oh, all right, whatever, you guys are paying me this, this much. It's a lot of money, but, uh, look, that's between DAZN and Canelo and Golden Boys, so we can't really comment on that. That's, that's uh, on their side. We would have loved to do the third fight. I know uh, Triple G. Wanted to get Canelo back in the ring. There wasn't a decisive winner. Uh, we thought the first fight was pretty decisive for Triple Canelo G. thinks there was. Well, uh, <laughs> trying to rewrite history. If people remember, two of the judges gave uh, Canelo the 12th round when the majority, the overwhelming majority of people, thought that Triple G won uh, that 12th round. And if it would have been one point from one of those two judges, Triple G would have kept all of his titles. So there's uh, you know, some people that try to rewrite history, try to move forward getting a decision and, and not doing a third fight. But like I said, we're not dwelling on that. He's fighting Devrinchenko. We're promoting it here at the Garden. His big drama show is back. Uh, Ali Akhmedov was out here. We just did the, uh, we're in the ring here because we did the, the open workout for the fans today. It was a great turnout here at, at Madison Square Garden. And uh, you see the Triple G fan base is alive and well. Uh, the, New York's the second home. The Garden treats them very, really well. So where we launched his career really here in the, in the States. and. Uh, and we're, like I said, we're going to look forward to be successful on Saturday night. <clears throat> and it's a tough fight. Don't forget, Devrinchenko only lost by split decision. That was a legitimate split decision against uh, Daniel Jacobs. And his trainer said that if Andre Rozier said that if he had been in Devrinchenko's corner instead of Jacobs' corner, Devrinchenko would have won that fight. So that shows you, shows you the level that Devrinchenko's at. That shows you how dangerous of a fight this is for Triple G. And if he wins, he'll be the world champion again. Why do you think a lot of people are writing off Dervinchenko and seeing this fight as like an easy fight, uh, a fight that won't give Gennady much trouble? Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen anyone that well, said. A lot of fans uh, share that. I mean, I think Gennady is clearly still the best middleweight champion uh, or the middleweight uh, in the world. Whether he had the title or didn't have the title, he was a people's champion because we feel that he never lost in the in the ring. With that being said, uh, nobody uh, can say that uh, it, it's going to be a, a, an easy fight because. Uh, like I said, Danny beat um, Triple G beat Danny here at uh, at MSG, but uh, it was a very close fight with Devonchenko and and Danny Jacobs. And we know uh, Devonchenko is motivated; he wants to have his first world title. So, what Gennady's defended 20 times, and this will be his 21st time getting in the ring uh, to win a world title. Um, Devonchenko is hungry. He's younger than Triple G, and, and uh, he, he's coming to win. So we know it's not going to be an easy fight. Will there be a lot of fireworks? Uh, my money is on Triple G because I've he's your guy. <laughs> not only because he's my guy, but I've seen him in, in training camp, in sparring, uh, the chemistry that he's developed with uh, Jonathan Banks only after this will be his second fight. So, you know, all those little things. Uh, add up, and uh, and uh, I think we'll see uh, Triple G being victorious on Saturday. But it won't be for sure; it won't be an easy fight. Speaking of the work that he's done with his new trainer, Jonathan Banks, from the clips I've seen, and then the workout that he had with the first camp, and then this one, it seems that he wants to do a little bit more boxing, and he wants to get back to like his boxing ways. Is that kind of the feel that you get from both Jonathan and Gennady that they want to bring the boxing part out of him? That's in general. I mean, uh, Jonathan's not going to try to change his style. Triple G uh, was so dominant uh, for so long, people were vacating their titles to not fight him. So uh, you go from being so dominant to now having a, a new trainer. He is uh, bringing a little bit different rhythm. 
maybe a little bit different footwork, maybe a little bit different uh, defense. But in general, that's going to be Triple G in the ring. He's still going to have the knockout power. He's still going to have the great chin. He's still going to want to brawl. Uh, regardless of what kind of rhythm, he's always going to put on a, on, on, a, on a great show for the fans. So that's why we're excited about uh, being back here at Madison Square Garden. There's still some tickets available. We price them very reasonably. Um, and just want all the fans to come out on Saturday night. Should have done it in California. It would have sold out already, Tom. And it yeah. would have been easier for us travel-wise. But <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have had to come to the, to the East Coast for yeah, that one. I know, but, but we have nice weather. We have California weather today. Here so far, yeah. let's let's see if that don't jinx us. No, we're not going to yeah. jinx it. No. <laughs> if he wins this belt, obviously Canelo's quoted in the press: "Gennady, get a belt, then I'll fight you." If he wins, he gets a belt. Has the zone indicated to you, despite of what happened with Kovalev and Canelo fighting him on November second? that that in fact will be the next fight that happens. Well, the zones indicated they really want to do the fight. But uh, you know, again, we're we're only going to focus on this fight and then whoever is willing to get in the ring with uh, Triple G at that point. Uh, there is a lot of money uh, floating around there on on the Canelo side with the DAZN contract. So you would think uh, DAZN would have influence on who he's going to fight and we'll see. You know, look, that's a, it's a great fight. You can't disparage that fight. Canelo fighting Devin uh fighting uh, Kovalev Moving up two divisions, that's a great fight. You can't uh, knock that fight. Uh, probably thinks that's an easier fight. Otherwise, he would have fought the Triple G fight, but which is a it's a bigger, it's a high profile fight. The third the third fight, but look, it's a, it's a great fight. This fight here with Devonchenko is a great fight. That's why DAZN has such a great schedule. You know, they got the Triple G, they got Canelo, they got Anthony Joshua, they got Usyk uh, on on the 12th of October. They got so many great uh, fights uh, coming up on their schedule. They've really uh, made an impact, you know, being in business only for one year, uh, made an impact getting some of the biggest names uh, in the sport of boxing, and, and I think you're going to see a lot of quality programming on, uh, on the DAZN platform. This thing with Eddie Hearn, the uh, partnership, does that mean we might see a, a B.J. Saunders fight? I know for many years we've talked about Golovkin fighting B.J. Saunders at middleweight. Saunders has a belt at 168. Is that something you think that's more likely than a third Canelo fight? Well, we tried to do the Saunders fight. If you remember when uh, Triple G, I remember, G, I remember. Triple G went to the UK to fight Brook. It started out first to fight Saunders. That only lasted for about ten days of negotiations. Then it became clear that that fight wasn't going to ha happen, not because of the Triple G fight, but Triple G was willing to go to the UK in order to fight Saunders. Uh, that fight wasn't going to happen uh, at that particular time. So, from the Saunders side. So, then he started negotiating with uh, Eubank Jr. And that lasted for, instead of 10 days, that lasted for about five weeks. And then Eddie couldn't close that deal. So, now, then we wound up doing the uh, Kell Brook fight. So, hopefully, now if uh, BJ is working with Eddie and potentially fighting on the zone that uh, we might be able to, to make that fight happen. Look, if the economics are, are bigger now on the zone, maybe uh, B.J. Saunders will actually do that fight and get in the ring. And, and uh, back then it would have been a unification fight. That was the one B.J. held that WBO title hostage for so long. That was the one championship belt that we couldn't get after wanting to fight all the, all the champions. So, um, you know, that's a great fight. If we can make that fight in the future, uh, there's a lot of great fights out there, so we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, first step is first with Devonchenko, and then after that, we'll figure out uh, we'll figure out the next step. But the goal has to be the third Canelo fight, right? That's the one that's the biggest business that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah, Unfinished sure. business. It's, it's, the, it's still, if not the biggest fight in boxing, and one of the biggest fights in boxing. That's where I think uh, DAZN signed Canelo and Triple G uh, to fight each other. So I think that. Uh, that's the fight that the fans want to see. If we can make it happen, look, Triple G is not going to dwell on it. Like I said, you can't force somebody uh, uh, in the ring. But if uh, if uh, the zone can deliver that fight, then uh, I'm sure Triple G is uh, not going to have any hesitation uh, uh, to take that fight at all. So I would think the top choice is if Gennady is victorious, and that's a according to you a big if. Canelo, Saunders, and then who? Andrade, Callum. A lot of there's a lot of great fights out there. Uh, you just named three of them. Uh, Callum Smith would be a great fight. Uh, you saw Benavides uh, just had a nice win. Wait, you guys want to fight Benavides? 
Gennady knows Benavides well from uh, when he was up in the training camp. Benavides, that would be an awesome fight, but I'm just saying I'm surprised because it's the first time I've ever heard his name come up in discussions to fight Gennady. Now, let me make it clear. He's not calling out Benavides, but you went through the, the, the list of names, and I'm saying there's a lot of great names around that. Benavides had a great win. Um, so he's there. He's at 168. Count I'd take the Benavides fight over Callum, over Saunders. I think that's the uh, action fight. That's a, that's a great fight. That's a great fight. He is with a different network, so you a little know, hard only financially. But then you got the politics involved and things like that. But look, the point I'm making is, if Canelo doesn't fight a third time, there's so many other great fights out there for Triple G. He sells out MSG, he sold out the Forum, he sells out, you know, T-Mobile, he sold out twice with Canelo, so sells out over in England, uh, over in the UK. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a great time to be in the Triple G business, especially with this deal with DAZN. And uh, if the Canelo fight happens, great. If not, he's just going to keep, uh, if he wins these titles on Saturday, he's just going to keep uh, defending those like we did before when we couldn't get uh, Canelo in the ring when uh, it was mandated before. You guys really that whatever about it? Like, if you don't get the Canelo fight, like, I, it would it would bother me. I'd be like, I would like nonstop campaign, like, no, dude, you have to fight me. Here's the thing, you know, if you, if we can't get it in the ring, what what are you gonna do? Like I said, you can't go to us, go to the Hollywood press. Everyone was frustrated with the decision in the second fight. We don't think he lost his titles in the ring. The only way Canelo got those titles is on two judges scorecards giving him the 12th round. Otherwise, uh, Canelo wouldn't have those titles right now. So that was his frustration. The fact that Canelo won't get back in the ring with him, he's not frustrated about that. It's almost to be expected because it's happened before. It's actually happened twice before, but um, uh, again, he's not dwelling on it. The fact that we're still talking about Canelo, it's just uh, he's going to be focused on the guys that are getting in the ring with him. And, and uh, Gennady is a big force in, in boxing. He sells out arenas. He's got a great deal with, uh, with his own. And uh, uh, great sponsorship deals, and we're just going to keep keep plugging away, just like we did when uh, we first started building Triple G. All right, Tom, uh, thank you so much. Good seeing you again, and uh, we'll chat uh, tomorrow. All right, thank you so Thanks much. for coming out here to the <laughs> Mecca of Boxing. See you guys at the fights.